And now to Haiti, where political turmoil is taking its toll on that country. Earlier this month, we saw fiery protests going on in the capital of Port-au-Prince. Fritz Damberville now has a report from there. The degradation of every sector of life in Haiti is the dominant subject echoing across all media outlets today. Now four months without a government, the country has witnessed a dramatic rise in insecurity while the U.S. dollar reached new heights, making life extremely difficult for everyone here. So after a year of nationwide protests calling for the resignation of President Jovenel Moïse, accused of mishandling Petro-Caribe funds and dragging the country into a new socio-economic abyss, what is the plan going forward? In spite of all the opposition, President Jovenel Moïse officially resumed the process of selecting a new prime minister and is expecting the parliament to come together for a ratification hearing promptly. In parallel, the president made another request this week to the Organization of American States, this time for professional assistance in a new audit of the petro Caribe financial records to overrule the Superior Court of Accounts findings. Meanwhile, the investigating judge on the case published a schedule of court hearings to which several ex-public officials have been summoned. Senator La Tortue is one of the first initiators of the petro Caribe investigation. He had this to say. The population is protesting, asking for justice for Petro Caribe and for President Jovenel to face justice. Today I have a list of all enterprises and people who should appear in court. This Friday, July 19th, ex-Prime Minister Jean-Max Bellerive will be the first person to appear before the courts in the Petro Caribe process, with many more convocations on the way. These hearings are expected to go on for several weeks to confirm or refute the accusations reported by the Superior Court of Accounts. We'll bring you all the details from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. This is Fritz Damberville for Local 10 News.